Related Braids, Problem 2, Concentric Circles. I first want to thank my friend and fellow teacher Ed who got this problem and other problems for me to use in this lesson and other lessons. I appreciate his help. A pebble is dropped into a calm pond, causing ripples in the form of concentric circles. The radius R of the outer ripple is increasing at a constant rate of one foot per second. When the radius is four feet, at what rate is the total area A of the disturbed water changing? Please stop the lesson and solve the problem, then restart to see if you got it right. You'll get more out of the demonstration this way. We'll start out by making a drawing of the circle whose radius is four feet, and the change in radius is one foot per second as the ripples expand outward. The change in radius we'll call DRDT, which is calculus language for the change in radius length over or with respect to time. And this area of the circle we'll call A. And these letters stand for find, when, given, and equation, FWGE. And what are we trying to find? The rate that the area of the circle is changing. And in calculus language, we call this rate dA dt. And for when, we see that it's when the radius of the circle is four feet in length. So we call this r equals four feet. And what are we given? We're given that the radius of the outer ripple is increasing at a rate of one foot per second. And we call this given dr dt equals one foot per second. And as an equation, we get the area, or a, equals pi r squared. Now I believe we have everything we need. We bring forward the equation to the top, a equals pi r squared, and implicitly differentiating both variables in this equation, we get dA dt equals 2 pi r dr dt. Now we should have everything we need to solve the problem. We have the radius and the rate of change of radius we can place right into the right side of the equation. We have now dA dt equals 2 pi times 4 feet times 1 foot per second. And simplifying, we have dA dt equals 8 pi squared feet per second, which we box in as our correct answer. This wasn't too hard, was it? This has been Related Rates Problem 2, Concentric Circles. Thanks for viewing.